What's up party people and what's up mom? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jen and I'm a full-time reseller on eBay and Poshmark. And I went to Savers to clear my head. I've been staring at the computer screen for far too long, doing research, drafts, listing, all of the things. And I have that Savers haul for you. Here's the savers um, I spent here, bum, ba, na, na, $88.72, if you can see that. Um, I did have a 20% off coupon. It was like originally a hundred something. So I saved $19.28 is what it says. So that's awesome. Um, let's just jump in. I got two pairs of shoes I want to show you. The first up are these vintage Skechers. These are so awesome. I love finding this style of shoe. It reminds me of like a Bratz doll. Um, so it's just this leather and like faux Sherpa trim. These are a size seven and a half and they're such good condition. I'm trying to show you the inside. Look at the bottoms even. freaking amazeballs. So I have my computer here because I've already like did some of the research. These I'm going to list for $50 um, and see how they go because they're in really good condition. Look, non-marking outsole. Ooh. I sold some Steve Madden ones that were similar to this but not this exact same style. I sold those for $40. So I assume those are going to be around the same. My other shoes were super exciting. If you follow me on Instagram, you already saw. I found Rothy's, you guys. And that is a bolo. <laughs> that is a bolo. Um, they are a women's size nine. They're my size. I'm obviously not going to keep them. I did try them on, though, because you, you kind of have to if you find Rothy's in your size, right? <laughs> I'm listing these bad boy bad boys for a hundred dollars. One hundred dollars. These will pay for my entire trip, and these were four ninety nine. Four ninety nine. And I will tell you, I did have sticker shock. I'm like throwing this at you. I did have sticker shock when I went to Savers, just because I'm a bins girl, and even some of the stuff that I bought was like fifteen dollars per piece and I'm like what even these I think these were like 10 or something like that I don't know the average cost of goods is 986 by the way <laughs> I wrote that on my little thing so next up this is a bolo you guys I didn't know this brand it's oi lily I think it's a size large uh this here, let me scoot over. I just saw this and I thought it was really cute. The buttons say Oi, Oi Lily on it. So I was like, I have to look this up. It has a cute little deer on the front. My computer went to sleep. Cute little deer, like wood scenery, has hearts on the back. It is missing. It's supposed to have a faux fur collar. So it is missing that. But I'm still going to list this for $50. $50. What? The basic shirt or sweaters on their website, because I went to their website, I had to, are like $100 for a plain sweater, like a plain, we'll just say yellow, that says Oi Lily on it. It's like over 100 bucks, I think. This one I'm keeping for me. This is CC size large, at least for a little bit, and then I'll probably send it to Thread Up or something. Uh, it's like this pom pom ribbed knit sweater, kind of a mock neck, really cute. So I got that for me. Uh, next, I decided to get this one. It's a J Crew, and I'm assuming this is the newest tag because this came out fall of 20, this item. Let me show you. 
if you can see that fall of 20. So I decided to get this. I think this was, I don't remember, <laughs> but it's so cute. It has kind of like a puff sleeve. It's a little bit oversized, but it's a leopard print and I can't contain myself when a leopard print comes into my life. This J. Crew, I'm listing for $60. That's crusty. That's a little crusty. This is something I probably shouldn't have gotten. Um, G size small, but I did. I just got done watching Empty Hanger, Jenna, in her haul, and I saw this, and I'm like, well, I want it. It's a long sleeve mini dress, uh, really stinking cute. I think, what am I listing this? 35 bucks. 35 bucks, but it's so cute. I couldn't leave it there. <laughs> Next up, I'm sending this to ThreadUp because this brand doesn't sell well for me, but it is an expensive brand. So this is Vince, a size small, and this is a merino wool sweater dress with a kind of like a cowl neck. Merino wool sweater dress. Uh, I didn't put this on my list. So I don't know what they're going to sell it for. I try to look some up. I think some would sell for like 35 or 40, but I know that I can get more for this dress at thread up. So that's where that's going to go. I have to tell you a quick side note story real quick. So generally when I go into the thrift store, I beeline towards the shoes, right? Shoes. I didn't do that. Why? Um, uh, I decided to look at sweaters and cardigans first and savers. I don't know if they're huge where you are, but savers are huge where I am. I probably look through 300 plus sweaters and cardigans just trying to look. And I found what? <laughs> this one, this one, this one was probably even in knits, wasn't in sweaters. So I found like three. And then I looked through all of the dresses, every single size, every single dress. I found that one Vince. Oh, I did find this one as well. Let me show you. Jay McLaughlin. And then I saw a lady with a cart of shoes real, rolling out the racks of uh, new shoes. Oh, I did stop by the coats, which are last. But I saw her rolling the shoe carts out, new shoes. So I decided to go over there <laughs> and look at the shoes. And the weird thing is, is when I was in the dresses, there was this guy that ran to go get a cart because he had handfuls of shoes. So I was like, well, he got all the good shoes. No, he didn't. <laughs> anyway, so that was, that was my story. And I will never not go to shoes first ever again. Cause now I'm just wondering what I missed out on by that guy. But anyways, this is Jay McLaughlin size eight. This is just a sleeveless sheath dress. It has pockets. Here's the geometric type of print on it. It buttons to the waist. And yeah, this Jay McLaughlin, do do do. I'm gonna list for 50 bucks. Okay, and the last two pieces are coats. It's a small haul. I didn't get a lot. Small but mighty. This one is an Ann Taylor size extra large. This is a coat. It's a blue button front with like a roughly hem at the bottom, size XL. This one, the exact same one, new with tags, is listed on Poshmark for, I don't know, 75 or something. I'm trying to figure out, yeah, 75, 80. Uh, this one retails for 169 new. I only know that because of her listing. I looked to see what the retail was. Um, I'm listing mine for 60. And then the last code I got <laughs> is insane. So this is Anthropology 11Zs. This is a size small. This one's called the Embroidered, Embroidered Northerner Coat. Here's the embroidered part and it's on the very bottom as well. And it's like a tweed herringbone, full zip jacket. This retailed uh, over 200, almost $300 and I'm listing it for 100. So like, dang, what a good trip, right? But that was it, that's all I got. <laughs> I just wanted to show you, I know this is kind of a really short video, but I just wanted to show you, I couldn't 
not do a haul with my Rothy's, you know? All right, well, thank you so much for watching. If you do like reseller content, consider subscribing if you're not already. Hit the thumbs up button before you go. Don't forget to stay weird. Love you, bye.